as your core business continues to grow or shrink, data is growing all the time. So data management would be the capability to, to locate, access, protect that data that you need for your organization, that your organization runs on. So that data may be, again, online, it may be offline, it may be near, near line. Anything that your organization is running really on. Really, because, uh, again, back to the global crisis, um, global financial crisis, what we saw is even though businesses were taking a hit, data growth was continuing on at north of 60%. There's no, there's no break in sight, and it's only, it's multiplying every year. So how to do that? So data management is, it has to be a critical part of the business. If it's not addressed, one, are you going to be competitive? And I think what you'll see is, uh, you know, why is it important? It's the lifeblood of the business, and how do you use it to your advantage? If used effectively, it's a competitive differentiator. And what I mean by that is, you have all this data. Maybe today, 50% of the data in the enterprise. It's locked up. You have it, you're keeping it, but can you find it? So what Google did for the, for the web, someone needs to do for the enterprise so I can go and find that data that might be locked up, whether it be in storage or off-site on tape or wherever it is in the organization. If I could empower all those call center operators, all those salespeople that are working for us to go out there and locate the bit of information they need more quickly, they would be able to respond to the customer faster, more accurately, and ultimately that data is turning into a well, information. So I think what you're going to see in industry is there's going to be a change for data management. Okay, I'm stacking it up on a shelf. How do we turn that data into usable information? Something our organization can leverage to make it more competitive and more efficient than anyone else. So I'd say the most common misconception is data management is backup. Okay, fair enough, yeah, it's been around for 20 years, everybody, okay, it's data management backup, no, it's, well, one, number one, if, if you go about a data management problem, we already know that the economy goes down, data goes up. So how do you, how do you deal with it? On a good day, data's, you know, going to grow double. So the traditional backup that, that I guess the, the world talks about, backup's dead. You have to go about it more intelligently because the data is continuing to grow. So what you see is this merge of these different, I guess, areas and applications that grew in silos that we discussed earlier, like, like backup, like archiving, like storage resource management, virtual, uh, I guess, visualizing and understanding what information you have. Organizations need to take a step back and do a little bit of planning before they jump in and think that, hey, if I do the same thing that I've been doing for 20 years, it's going to fix my data that's growing at 65%. And I will say the global crisis forced people to look because CFOs were coming back and saying, no, I'm not going to approve that purchase of 100 terabytes. You need, to, you need to go and tell me if you can do this better. Hence the advent of things like deduplication. Yeah, And again, archiving, pushing it to cheaper tiers, tiers of storage. I think that is, uh, in, in, well, again, certainly in U.S. and European markets that were, I think, taking it the worst right now, if you will, globally, they're being forced to look at these alternative technologies. So th the first step I'd say is, if, if they're going out and looking for a product, they're trapped in the 20-year-old ago, I'm looking for a backup. You can't go out and look for a, you cannot go out and look for a product. You have to look for a solution. So what is the business driver? I think, uh, number one, IT go out and search for a solution before the business dictates what the, what the implications are. You have to start the entire process with what is the business impact? How much money is this going to cost me if I do or don't do this? What is the risk associated with that? Once you have a solid uh, business case or foundation, then you can start putting together a technical foundation to address that business problem. But going about it as a, oh, I'm going to go look for a, a product X, you, you're, you're, you're going to lose because what's going to happen is in three or four years you're going to look back and realize that you have product A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you've all the way through Z, you've invested 26 times times training, times hardware, times storage. So I'd say it's, it's most important to be strategic and look at the business case first. That will drive the technology that goes underneath. Don't look for products, look for end-to-end -end solutions sales service support solution. What is going to fix my problem?